It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Today, we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gunn, so pleased to be joined, as always, by Charles Davis. As CD, these Vikings had things rolling in 2022, a 13-4 record, new head coach, an exciting offense, but it all came crashing down in another early playoff exit. And that really was because of the defensive side of the ball. They had a terrific record. Would they win 11 games by one score or less in NFL record? Got to get strong on the defensive side in order to get deeper into the playoffs. And meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, one era ends, another begins. This is a team that finished 8-9 last year, missed out on the playoffs at the very end. What needs to happen for the green and gold to be playoff bound once more? Everyone's focusing on how they're starting over on the offensive side of the ball. But to me, they have an accumulation of talent on defense that needs to play like a top 10, top 5 defense in the NFL. Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. yards last year here's Aaron Jones and he'll get this to the 32 give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle you know he was trying to dart through no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three-yard gain from the 32 yard line now here's a second and seven they'll go again to Jones Shifts by him, and strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. That good for 19 at a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Love, they go play action now. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. And they'll come up second and seven. Here's Love. Short throw, he's got Kraft. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Love looking to throw it. That is caught. And he is going to have a Packers first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a first down carry by Jones. Zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 
17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Well, another completion right there, and again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give them the quarterback right now for a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. So here come the Vikings with a long field ahead of them. They're led out by the rookie, picked 164th in this past draft out of BYU, Jaron Hall. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Second down and eight. Here's Hall. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Play action is supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing here is Hall. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's file this play away, because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. On oh, the return is Reed. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36.
Now third down and seven. Now Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Is that throw a ride? Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Now a second and 10. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 10 yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Another carry now for Madison. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 35, here's a second down and nine. Hall. And this will be incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Back to throw, Hall. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a cornerback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked him. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Two yards, good enough for first. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. On the counter, here's Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Now we'll get a timeout as they tend to an injured player, and looks like that's their receiver, Christian Watson. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's second and seven. Now the fourth year man from BC, it's AJ Dillon. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49 yard line. A one yard gain there following the three yard pickup on first down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, if you have man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Daniel Whelan now. And this is a beauty as that ball is going to angle out at the six-yard line. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that, Puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. Took him five tries, but he is able to complete that first pass of the game. And could you hear the exhale all the way up here? <laughs> Not just from him, coaching staff, offensive line, receivers. Now he's off the schneid. Can they get him going in a nice groove where he becomes a little more consistent throwing the football? Because yeah, you missed those first two, but yeah, get up the 0 for, 0 for 4 range. That can be a little tricky, but able to settle in, hopefully. Yeah, now you won't have any confidence issues. Now you can kind of get it back, even with just one throw. Still second down. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Now it's Hall. This one caught by Osborne, right side. 27 yards there, a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did, and they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Hall. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Now a throw here to his running back. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and nine. Now Hall to Jefferson on the slant. Five yards, now it's third and five. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse 
disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota. Now the rookie, Jaden Reed, deep for the Packers. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? The Jones with a nice burst there on first down as he'll be taken down, but not before a gain of seven yards. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Off the option, it's Jones. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. He gets that one complete to Wicks. So five yards here, five on the play, and that will bring up second down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 42. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Love now. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it facing a second and long situation. Working out of the gun, Love. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 17. On the out route, Dobbs brings it in. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing. Love. That's taken in by Kraft. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 
That one goes for 24 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Now Jones. Oh, a good move at the five. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes this a nine point game. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. They'll be in search of their initial points of the contest, trailing 9-0 as they begin with a first down. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Looking to throw. Hall. This is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Draw play, Madison. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Great stop by Devontae Wyatt, breaking through the line and stopping him cold. What do you think, Brandon? I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. To throw on second down, Hall. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The lessons will continue. This rookie, he's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. They go play action here on first down. That is incomplete. 
Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Here's second and ten. Throwing again. Hall. Buying time to his left. Room here to run. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escaping. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure. Oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. In motion right is Osborne. Now they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really, the offensive line not helping him much. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. To throw on third down, Hall. Oh. And that is incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range. No sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. A 36-yard attempt. The kick by Joseph is good, and they are on the board. It's now 9-3. to So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Joseph now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. Love looking to throw it. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 
Oh, the return is Powell. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And out now come the Vikings. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. To about the 35, second down. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Here's a second and eight. Off play action, Hall. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the third. Six yards on the play. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That's a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. And this game to the last one, and they moved the ball over 50 yards in two plays. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking and the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. Here's Madison running on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. That really sets him back. A loss of six. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. Back to throw. Hall. Oh. Open man is Osborne, and he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Hall. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Joseph on for the field goal. A 37-yard attempt. Joseph's got it. And that trims the lead to three. It's nine to six now. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit and forced the field goal. Joseph now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Another drive coming up for this Packers offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher 
on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 87 yards rushing for him now to this point. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead. Pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are out in the field. And they're only thinking one thing. Get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Now the throw on third down. Knocked away and incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. Here's Powell on the return. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's Hall. Into the hands of the rookie, Jordan Addison. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Throwing here is Hall. On a comeback route, he's got Jefferson. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10, marking down at the 9. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. A gain of seven that time, second goal. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they had gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. All to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Hall. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. 
The kick by Joseph is good. And that will tie the score now at nine apiece. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Nixon now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now Love. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Sheldon Day. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. So nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. through one half of football as we get back underway in quarter number three. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. But the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Go oh, a heck of a move. Gonna get this one across the 40 yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just gonna say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just there he goes, left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 39 yards there, a big one. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run. There was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. 
Back to throw, Hall. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and seven. Now it's Hall. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. Only able to gain a couple there. And it's third and four now. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Hall from the gun on third down. This goes out wide from Madison. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. They're going for it. Here's Madison. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 21. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Ball on the 27. Here's second and four. Again, it's Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 112 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. First down, love to pass. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. And he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot <laughs> of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. Here's second and three. And inside give to Jones. Gets around him, and he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Now second and five. On play action, love to throw. 
Throw right side, going to be complete to DeGuara. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Kevin O'Connell clearly unhappy with that call, and he's thrown that red challenge flag out on the field. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To throw now. Here's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 17-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones, and he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. Love now on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will take the lead here at 12-9. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So we'll see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Another carry now for Madison. Treads it with a stiff arm. And he'll go out near middle field. rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? 
You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that. Packer pressure and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. I think a lot of time when we see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback. But here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Over the middle and complete to Addison. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And third and eight now. Now Hall. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Official foul, roughing the passer defense. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And an official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. Here's Hall, middle of the field to Jefferson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job holding to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Looking to throw. Hall to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Kevin O'Connell has a play call ready. His guys going for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And boy, this is gonna be close. That mark looks a little short and he didn't get there. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage.
Now a second down throw for Love here. And he had to reach for that one, but can't grab it. It's behind him, and it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And they'll get him down short of first down, right on the 10-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Pass caught here by Osborne. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Back to throw. Hall. He gets it to Addison. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to bring up second down. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's Hall on third down. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense... He hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that in his defense? In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now here's Ryan right now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
He's having a big game running the football, but that will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Love. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and it convert on third down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle, Jones. He gets away from one. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down. It actually aids the defense in that situation. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Love. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. But well, turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. On second down, it's Jones. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 153 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you gotta know that he feels like he's right on the verge. And that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Love now. Able to find his man, Kraft. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. He hits Dobbs on the crosser, and he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal.
They'll run here with Dillon. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. It's rare that a man his size can at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in. Touchdown, Packers! Jaden Reed, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Carlson's extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And out of... The 25 to the 27. And now out comes Minnesota. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Throwing here is Hall. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Hall. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slant. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he'll get this up past the 40. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game, and for a second, I thought they had it right there. But looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. On the toss, Madison. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Alexander Madison scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Vikings have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. Joseph connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown! A big-time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your <laughs> friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. Now Carlson for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Take it at about the one. And he returns this to the 22. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Second and 10. Hall. Addison hauls it in. Five yards, now it's third and five. All to throw it. Now they go screen, it's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Back to throw, Hall. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now it's Hall. Steps away to his left. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now as a defensive coordinator, 
you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw again, Hall finds his tight end Oliver here outright. And this is gonna result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 25 yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. This goes out wide for Madison. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. Here comes second down and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This one brought in by Jefferson. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he's down to the 12. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. 12 yards between them in the end zone, second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. And now a tough spot here. This is third and 10. Back to throw again toward the end zone, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. A little extra pressure with this one for Greg Joseph. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Joseph's got it, and this is back down to a seven point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Joseph now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Packers ready to take over offensively. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game.
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try to run some clock now with Jones. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll go again to Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football. I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. That was a good play, an incompletion that feels like a disappointment. The ball was tipped in the air, a chance for an interception, and you can just feel the home crowd coming together thinking, this is the big play we've been looking for, and when it falls to the ground, a little bit of disappointment, even though it was a good play. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by seven, 40 seconds to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. They're going to keep bringing the pressure. You can count on that. Another try, second and 10 now. Back to throw. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Back to throw. That is caught. Oh, but he can't get out of bounds. He'll have the first down, but he's brought down in play. They were down to their final two plays. They needed something to get them started. That was the one. And it was a big one indeed. And so now they get a chance to continue to go downfield. Let's see if they go for a big one here. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This ball intercepted. And the Packers are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Well, this ball game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end, but a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, tough environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way to get out of here with a win. 